Yeah, are you gonna cut these corners off still? That one's so pretty sharp. Yeah, I haven't cut any one of them. Making the gas tank for the buggy. Uh, my welder is a big pig stick, but it's not an AC DC welder, so I can't do aluminum. So Big Daddy C is over here with his welder, and uh, we're gonna weld fill tank up. Maybe some intercool or some charge piping for the supercharger. That'd be dope. Might not happen though, but it'd be dope if it did. So this is the floor of the gas tank. This is the back wall that's right behind the seat. About to tack it on and then uh, we're gonna make the rest of it. So, so. Under the tank, I know people are going to say like sticks and stuff will pierce it. We're actually going to put like eighth inch thick steel under where it mounts to the frame. So that'll guard it from that. Um, yeah, don't talk crap. It's 2020. <laughs> Not team as your crap talking. Guys, I want to take a real quick second to shout out the sponsor of today's video, which is the Big Daddies down in Texas, GoPowerSports.com. You already know GoPowerSports has every mini bike and go-kart OEM and performance part, and they're bringing even better parts to the market like this juggernaut pulley. We've already talked about it. This thing is insane how it makes your engine be able to rev out and be able to take off like a friggin' rocket. So make sure to check out those links where you can get the juggernaut. If you don't have a governor and you have a built engine or a stock engine that you basically just took the governor out, this pulley is gonna be for you. It can let you rev close to six to 6,500 RPMs. We've been hearing different reports. So we're gonna throw an RPM gauge soon on up one of our mini bikes and see how far it actually revs out. But uh, until then, make sure to check out those links use those links buy one for your go-kart or mini bike because i'm telling you guys you will not be disappointed in this pulley she's sick so uh check those links out let them know that redbeard sent you when you check out let's get back to this fat daddy video attitude we're at 14.7 we need to be 23 so what we'll do is we'll bend it to 25 degrees because there's always gonna be spring back the fire
Tell us about it. That Tell is us about fuel it. Pump. We don't need to know about that yet. What? Tell us about what? About it. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, that one. So the fuel cell's done. It's dope. Dope nasty. We put a return. So later on in the future, we can do fuel injection uh, with the supercharger. But at first, we just put this 6AN cap. Those are 6AN fitting. So we have a 90 coming out with some nice line up to a fuel filter. This is a cleanable filter. This will go out into this Holly Mighty Max fuel pump. This basically will do, I think, 1 to 4 PSI, somewhere around that. And then we have this Holly fuel pressure regulator. Basically, it'll come out of the tank, into the filter, into the pump, out of the pump, into the regulator, in, then out to the carburetor. So, we will have fuel pressure and then i had to buy a few carb parts which i'll show you in a minute to make a mccuni handle fuel pressure uh, in the top we have this access panel we can pull this out to put foam in the tank later when i order it so this is a breather valve basically a rollover valve it has a ball bearing in there and if you was to roll over it will not spew gas out but it'll let the tank vent this will run up to a filter that's on screen that i welded on the buggy so that's dope nasty then we have a fuel level sending unit this will tell our fuel gauge how much fuel we have uh, then we have a one and a half inch outlet this is too long but we'll cut it down to the appropriate size then we'll bead roll a little bead around it so that is the fuel cell it is sick it is dope nasty what do you think of it braxton no cool so brandon uh fully welded this out for me because unfortunately chris had to leave bless his heart i love him and uh brandon machined a piece to go in here welded it and then he pressure tested so this is good to go and hold fuel we don't know how much fuel but we'll know later so uh, i'll show you what we have to do to the carburetor to make it handle the fuel pressure from the holly okay so first off we bought this mccuni part it is part number mk412 this allows you to have a cable choke and take off the pull style choke so that's dope nasty then we got this is a new needle and seat uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm guessing that's a part number, 002233, don't know for sure, but this basically allows you to use a fuel pump. This is like what a snowmobile would have. So it has a smaller inlet hole where the gravity one has a much larger one, and this needle is able to seal that off better with fuel pressure. So that's all we need to run this low pressure, high volume fuel pump. And we do not need a return, uh, so when the seat basically, the needle seats, and stops the fuel this has an internal bypass in it so this is our fuel setup for the buggy so this video is short but sweet sweeter than candy so uh stay indoors hide your kids hide your wife because the coronavirus is out there um we're gonna keep working and yeah i hope you like the fuel cell we will have it up on the buggy the next thing we got to do is uh intake and uh tensioner pulley and then the buggy can be started so hope you guys are excited because this gangster sure is. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We love you and God bless.